Oops. So I just did this whole thing and I forgot to hit record. Oh well, now I'll do it again. So first up, so I split up the two. I got a 100 cards plus a pack from Walgreens. And I'm going to split them up into two parts. And uh, yeah, but before I do that, before I show you what I got, I am going to uh, hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel, and give me your thoughts, comment below. What do you think? So, first off, we got Ozzy Smith. Very good Hall of Fame player. I mean, mostly a defender. You know, his offense kind of sucked, but it was the good, a really good defender. Next up, Nelson Santovina. No clue. Expos, catcher. I don't know. Or I think it's, I don't know, it doesn't matter. J. Robert Aldrich, pitcher, Brewers, no clue. We got Jim Abbott, pitcher, Angels, and Jim Abbott's one of my uh, as favorite players. I guess you could call it. He had one hand, which is really cool because for a guy like that to reach the majors, and not only did he reach the majors, but he's one of the very few players to get drafted and go directly to the majors. So that's really cool because in baseball, they have the minor league system, and usually – you spend at least one year in the minors. So occasionally guys get drafted and they get called up in September, you know, after like half a minor league season. But it's very rare that a player, and it, it'll never happen again the way the game's constructed right now. It won't happen. But so he, he would pitch with one hand and he would hold his glove on his uh, wrist and then he got really good at pitching and then quickly sliding his hand into his glove to field if necessary because pitchers don't feel a lot. So... And then I think he would just like toss it with his hand if he needed to. But uh, he was he was a good fielder that he was a good a really good pitcher that you could um, live with. You know him not being the best fielding pitcher, which most pitchers aren't because it's, you know, it's not something that you uh, can get into a rhythm with. But uh, next we have Dan Schatziter, Phillies. No clue who he is. Uh, now we got Jerry Mumphrey, Cubs, outfield. No clue. Next, we got Kurt Stillwell, shortstop, Reds, no clue. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know who these people are. You know, 
a lot of these guys you wouldn't know if you're not like a fan of the team because but the fans of the teams like there are these players who aren't good on you know major league wise they're not good but you know they they do something that the fans fall in love with them you know whether it's hit a clutch game winning uh, hit or something like that so next up, we got Rod, Rob Deer, Brewers outfielder. I don't know. No clue. Maybe he's, uh, I don't know. Next up, we got Jerry Don Gleeden. Relief pitcher, Royals. Never heard of him. So uh, next up, Tim McIntosh, catcher, Brewers. Really like this hat. The Brewers hat with the glove. That logo is really cool. Not much better than the M they have now, but no clue who that player is, so. Jim Gantner, Brewers, second base. No clue who he is either. Uh, next up, Mike McFarlane, catcher, Royals. Uh, yeah, no. And yeah, McFarlane Toys had some really cool baseball uh, figures. They're just sports figures in general. I have some of them. Uh, I'll have to dig them out to show you guys. Alan Anderson, pitcher, twins, no clip. Von Hayes. This is Von Hayes. Uh, sounds like name of like an angry man. No clue who he is. But I don't know. Interesting. Oh, Phillies. We got Dave Stewart. Stewie. So, very good pitcher. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Don't know. But, uh, yeah, very good pitcher. Three consecutive 21 seasons uh, in the 80s, I think, in the, yeah. But uh, not that many people do that, especially now with guys on a, a full season being like 32 starts. So... And you don't get a decision every time. So, next up, Dave Concepcion. Shortstop. Reds. Hall of Famer. Very good player. Next up, Terry Kennedy. Catcher Giants. No clue. Greg Harris. Name sounds familiar. 
Not sure who he is, though. Can't place him. Uh, pitcher for the Padres. Had some good seasons with the Padres, so maybe that's why I know him, but, you know, it's been a long time, so. Uh, Jeff Blauser. Braves. Infielder. Very good role player for the Braves in the late 80s to mid early mid 90s so i believe he was on the 95 world series team that one ryan welkers indians pitcher no clue not even sure how, if that's pronounced right O E L K E R S. Welkers or Welkers. I think it's Welkers. Because that's usually what O E makes. Like when. I don't know. Randy Ready. He's ready. Ready to play. Uh, infielder for the Padres. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Today, I can be anything, center field. Dennis Eckersley, very, very good pitcher, Hall of Famer. Split time as a starter and a reliever in his career. Really took off as a reliever. And was one of the first relievers in the Hall of Fame. Uh, not a full-time reliever, though, so. Uh, Mark Portugal. wonder if his parents are from Portugal, because he's not. He's from L.A. But pitcher for the Twins, reliever. Uh, next, we got Van Voorhees Snyder. Yikes, it's a, it's a scary name. Reds Outfield. No clue who that is either. Darren Lewis. I know that name. Good role player. Outfielder, Giants. Uh, Scott Terry, pitcher, Cardinals, no clue. Uh, so, uh, next we got Tim Leary, Yankees, on the team when they suck. So, I don't know. And it was before my time. Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Fame second baseman for the Chicago Cubs. Now that is a good player. So, uh, next up, Willie Upshaw. First baseman for the Toronto Blue Jays. No clue who he is. Now we got a checklist. It's in the old cards. Not sure if they still do that. But. Next up, we got Tom Brookins, Detroit Tigers, third baseman. No clue. Oh well. Tom Henke. Name's familiar. Think he may have been on the World Series 
Blue Jays team in, I believe it was 1993 when they won. Maybe... I don't know. No, I think they did win in 90 and 91. I think that's when they won. They won back-to-back years, I think. So next up, we got John Smiley, Pirates pitcher. Not smiling. Turn that frown upside down. And he's not frowning either. It's just pitching. Who pitches with a smile on their face? Kind of unnatural. Uh, Ted Power, Detroit Tigers pitcher. Would have been cool if he was like a hitter. Now up to the plate, Ted Power. Last season, he hit 55 home runs. <laughs> you know, if he would have lived up to his name. Uh, next up, Brian Downing. Angels, DH. I think they were still the California Angels when this card came out in 91. But, uh, yeah, so they went from the California Angels to the Anaheim Angels to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And I think now they dropped the of Anaheim because no one gives a shit. But, see, that's why I mark these videos as not for kids. Because I'm not going to hold back on saying stuff. We got Jay Howell, pitcher, Dodgers. Don't know who he is. Weird uh, picture to choose. Kind of looks like he's itching his butt. But he's probably just holding the ball. That's what pitchers do. Ooh, Dave Justice. Very good player for the Atlanta Braves. I believe he won the World Series with them in 95. And then he went to the... He was traded to the Yankees, and I believe... 99 99 season and he won two more world series with them so i think he won two with them i don't think he was a free agent after that season but could be wrong next up rod allen no clue who he is a cleveland indian outfielder So next up, Brian Holton, pitcher, Dodgers, no clue. If you know who he is, let me know. Uh, Johnny Ray, cool hat. I like that hat too. Like the Brewers, I like the old school uh, Pirates hat with the sort of like a, almost a top hat, like a square, like, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it, but Johnny Ray, cool name too, Pirates. Uh, Now we got... William Morris, Harold Hal Morris. I 
I've heard of him. First baseman for the Reds. Don't heard of the name. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Kenny Rogers, very good pitcher in the nineties. Uh, he won. He. He was on the Yankees in the late 90s and won the World Series with them. I forgot what year, maybe 98. Kenny Rogers. I used to think he was a chicken guy, but that's uh, Roy Rogers. Wade Boggs, third base, Hall of Famer. Now, one of those players who started out on the Red Sox and went to Green of Hashers with the Yankees and actually won a World Series. So he had that famous moment where he was on a horse in the outfield after they won in uh, 96. So, I mean, now the Red Sox have won, but still nice to rub it in a little. Next up, Ray Langford, another good uh, role player guy. You know, not going to win you any game single-handedly, but... Well, I mean, he might, you know, if it's tied up and it's a home run, that's kind of single-handedly, but. Next up, Wilfredo Cordero. Oh, is this? I don't think so. There's a guy, there was a guy named Will Cordero, but I, I think it's a different guy. I don't think he was a expo, but it's top prospect card. That's kind of cool. All right, so next up, we got Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Oakland A's DH 1987. So, he won the World Series with the Yankees in 77 and 78. He uh, hit three home runs in the World Series game. First time ever. And yeah. Started out with the A's, then finished his career with the A's, so that's kind of cool. I like when players do that. They, you know, bounce around a little, but then go back home. It's kind of cool. Andre Thornton, DH, Cleveland Indians. Don't know who he is. Next up, Dwayne Henry. Yeah. Don't know who he is. Pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds. No clue. Next up, Al Osuna. Astros pitcher. Wonder if he is the father to Roberto Osuna, who is the relief pitcher closer for the Toronto Blue Jays at the moment. Very good. Mike Gallego, good role player to have on your team. Uh, I think he was mostly known for his defense. Not not a great offensive player, but 
you always need those guys on your bench to come in, you know, late innings when it's a close game. Uh, next up, Dave Rigetti. Much like Dennis Eckersley, split time between starting and relieving. And he's a Hall of Famer, and I believe he is still the pitching coach for the uh, San Francisco Giants. Next up, David Segui, another role player type. Uh, yeah, no, that's cool with the Orioles in the 90s. I remember him. He used to play against, you know, the Orioles and the Yankees are in the same division. So, you know, that kind of thing. Next up, Andre Dawson. Very good player. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame now. Uh... Yeah, actually, I think he got in on the last ballot, you know, when he was last eligible. But uh, outfielder for the Cubs, very good pick in the 80s and early 90s. Next up, Joe McGrain. I believe he is or was a commentator on, or an analyst on the MLV network. Not sure if he still is, but pretty good player. Not, I wasn't too familiar with him, but uh, yeah. Uh, next we got Tony Perez Chica, Giants infielder. No clue who he is, but cool last name too. It's like Perez girl. I don't know. Next up we got Jeff Stone, Phillies. No clue who he is. Steve Crawford. I don't know. Red Sox. I don't know. Tim Cruz, pitcher, Dodgers. Don't know. Don't know. Not Tom Cruz. Tim Cruz. Different Cruz. Next up, we got some modern cards. Second baseman, Whit Merrifield for the uh, Kansas City Royals. Anyone who pays attention to baseball or plays fantasy baseball knows who Whit Merrifield is. You know, I mean, not someone who just watches games and watches their team's games, but people who know, uh, people who pay attention to the league know who he is. Next up, Giordano Ventura. Pitcher of Royals. Once a top prospect, has not lived up to the hype, but he's still on the right side of 30, so maybe he can uh, get things done. Maybe he can surprise people with a late career comeback type thing. So, next up, 
we got Will Myers. So Will Myers is one of those guys who was a top prospect, has had some good years, you know, but he has not lived up to the hype. And, you know, he signed a really big contract with the Padres. I believe it was like five years, $110 million, something like that. And kind of never produced, never lived up to that. And now they're trying to trade him. And the rumor is that the Red Sox are interested and it's an interesting situation because the Red Sox dealt Mookie Betts way to try and get under the luxury tax, but they couldn't really do that because they also ended up eating half his contract. So, I don't know. But, so I think, like, now they're just going, like, we got to get prospects because they don't really have any. You know, they have some young players that are good, but other than that, they need prospects. So, all right. So that wraps up part one. So check out the unusefulidiots.com for all things that I do. Uh, yeah, like I said, check out my other channel, the Unuseful Idiots Extended Universe for more things baseball. That's, I talk about uh, trades and stuff. And uh, we'll see how it progresses into the season. I just started the channel in November. So, you know, still working out the kinks, seeing what to do. But, uh, yeah. So, if you go to the website, you can see all my information, what I'm doing, how to support me. If you want to... But other than that, you could just subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on the video, and leave a comment. You know, do that to all the videos, you know, on both channels. <laughs> you know, that, that would be more than enough. If you do that, that's good. Especially if you do that now where you go back to all the videos like them and I mean, watch them all the way through. Because, I mean, I don't know. There is, like, these weird algorithms where they show you the length of time. And I don't know. I think that I know to get ad revenue, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 minutes a month, I think. Or maybe not a month. No, maybe a year. 4,000 minutes a year. Maybe that makes, that kind of makes more sense. Although, I mean, a thousand subscribers could easily get you 4,000 minutes a month. So all they have to do is watch four minutes of a video. Or, you know. I mean, most YouTubers put out multiple videos a month. So, anyway, uh, that's it for part one. I'll go to part two. See you guys.